Gail Huff Brown says New Hampshire needs a Republican back in Congress. What is the path to victory for Gail Huff Brown in this CD1 primary? Talking to every single person, getting out to talk to people, telling them what my goals are, telling them what's important for, um, you know, for our state, and most importantly, hearing from them. Huff Brown was in Seabrook last month knocking doors when the false alarm went off, warning people away from the nuclear power plant and the beach. While that incident is still being reviewed, she says she's not in favor of expanding federal oversight. I don't know how Congress gets involved in that. I mean, listen, this is this is obviously a big mistake that occurred at the nuclear power plant. We still don't know exactly what happened. It appears to be human error. We're human. There is always going to be human errors. On Capitol Hill, the CHIPS Act would dedicate more than $50 billion to incentives to bring semiconductor production back to the United States and out of the reach of Chinese influence. It had bipartisan support in the Senate, but now congressional Republicans are poised to vote against it over spending concerns. Would you vote in favor of that money, uh, which a lot of Republicans are saying they'll now oppose? I. <sighs> I have really mixed feelings about it because obviously I'm an America First candidate. I want to bring businesses back here to America. I want to make chips in America so we're never in this situation again. On abortion, Huff Brown says let the states decide. She says she would vote against a six-week abortion ban if it came to the House floor. I don't support what Chris Pappas and the Democrats pushed through, which is abortion all the way up to birth. Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.